हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर कवरिंग चैप्टर एट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स एच टी एम एल एंड इंट्रोडक्शन राइट सो दिस इज फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक एंड टूडेज टॉपिक्स आर हेडिंग टैक्स एंड टेक्स फॉर्मेटिंग टैक्स राइट सो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट इट फर्स्ट टैग इज हेडिंग टैग्स राइट सो वी हैव हेडिंग टैग फ्रॉम एच वन टू एच सिक्स मीन्स वी हैव H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6, right? So that's how I have written here. H1, 2, H6, right? So this is uh, this heading tag is used to define different heading levels in HTML document, right? So H1 heading is the largest heading, right? And H6 is the smallest, right? Means H1 is the largest, H2 is smaller than that. and h3 is smaller than that and so on right so this is a container tag means heading will be defined using the two tags that is opening tag and closing tag so it is called a container tag right so let's see how this works let's write h t एम एल राइट सो वी विल बी चेकिंग डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ हेडिंग राइट सो आई राइट हेयर ब्रैकेट्स एच वन राइट एंड द क्लोजिंग टैग हाउ विल बी राइटिंग क्लोजिंग टैग लाइक दिस एच वन राइट सो दिस वुड बी अ बिगेस्ट हेडिंग सो आई विल सेव इट नाउ आई विल गो इन द file and save as i'll write heading tag dot html right and save it right now i'll go to my folder and i'll see this is my heading tag web page i'll click it and see so this is the biggest le level of the heading right so now let's see how other heading works now come back to this right so you see i have written all the headings h1 h2 3 4 5 and 6 right so html is written in the two tags that is h1 and h2 both means it is a container tags heading tags are container tags so i'll press control s i'll go back to my folder and open my heading so now you can see the different level of headings on the same text right so this is how our heading tag works now next is bold tag bold tag is used to make the enclosed text in the bold style right it is again a container tag because it is using both opening and closing tag right so if i'll write some text within these two tags it will be bold right then we have i tag stands for italic to make the enclosed text in a italic style right so it is again a container tag it is having starting and closing tag both the tags next is underline underline is used to make the enclosed text underline right so it is again a container tag having the opening tag as well as the closing tag right so let's see how this bold italic and underline works Let's write some other text here. Right, so I have written all computer classes. I want to make it bold. So I'll write bracket, and in that bracket I'll write bold. I'll come here at the end of the text to which I want to make the bold. Right. Now let me copy this and quickly show you how this bold italic and line work. copy we can 
save the time by using this feature now I'll make it bold I'll make it italic by using italic and underline tag right so let's see what is the output now I have modified my text document I will press control s now I'll visit back my folder where my file is saved I'll open this web page and I can see this part is bold this part is italic and this part is underlined now here you can see we have written in the, in the different lines but they are coming in a single line so we can use break tag br and br so let's see press ctrl s this is a extra tag which I haven't uh, taught you but I'm telling you like when we type a text we want to move to the next line what we do we press enter key from the keyboard so here to move to the next line we use break tag that is br tag right so let's see how it shows the output press ctrl s visit your folder again open the same now you see uh, same text is appearing in the different line using the break tag right so this is additional information which will be useful for you so I hope you are clear with the heading tags and these three bold italic and underline tags the next is paragraph tag right so it is used to make a block of text as a paragraph right so it is again a container tag having opening and closing both the tags right so it is showing the beginning of the paragraph it is indicating the end of the paragraph right and you know that when we have a paragraph we can align it in the left side right side or center right so we have a line attribute which will be having value center left or right right so that is a alignment for the paragraph so let's see how this works for example I have a paragraph so let's say I have this paragraph it's not appearing as a paragraph right now let's make it a paragraph by giving a P tag in the beginning how it will be appearing in my web page right and closing P tag that is paragraph tag it is indicating the end of the paragraph now you see everything whatever I am doing I am doing within the body tag whatever you want to do you will be doing after the body tag and before this closing body tag right now I'll press control s I'll go in the I'll go in the f uh, folder open the web page now you see right so it is uh, a paragraph and it is by default aligned right so you can see it is aligned to the left side let's make it a justified alignment now now I will give a a l i g n is equal to align is a align is a attribute and we'll give it a value justify and control s you see whatever attribute you are writing you have to write with in the first tag that is opening tag every attribute has a value and that value has to be written in this double quotes right now don't forget to press control s otherwise your output will not appear in the web page right now I press control s come back to the folder come back to the folder and open that same now you see your text has been adjusted and it is equal from this side right so this is how it is justified right so uh, students I hope you are clear with these few tags uh, in the next video I'll come up with few more uh, text formatting tags right so just practice it out you will um, learn more by doing it practically see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and God bless you all